changes that we've made to the website. Let's go to organizer matches. Okay, so uh, I guess first of all, uh, let's go to a future game. I'm gonna pick. Let's pick one at random. There we go. Let's go with that one. So now you can manage team directly on here. You can add attendees if you need to add a couple of organizers. Let's uh, click that twice. That'll create two spaces at the bottom. Random. Random. Okay, you can uh, rate your players. Try and make the teams fairer. Change any names if you need to. Okay, put in a couple of teams. Put as many teams as you want. Say so reds. Blue. Or it could be bibs and non-bibs. Okay, let's pick your teams. You can drag. I'm gonna use the edge to scroll up and down, but then you can drag. Let's say swap that one. Swap that one. You see the scores there: 26, 23. You can even it up if you want to. Let's say I want to take a two. For a four. Okay, we are going to try and make it so these fit a little bit better on the page, a bit easier to use. Okay, so that's teams done. If you want to share these teams, copy to clipboard. Okay, let's go to WhatsApp. Paste. Puts the teams in nicely. Okay. Go back. Got the results then. It's up to you if you put goals and man of the match or other things in. But people are generally interested in this stuff if, if you put results in. So a win is number one or a win. Okay. A loss. Is four or a loss. If it's a tournament, you've got a second place and a third place or a draw, right? So up to you whether you do the other pieces like man of the matches, new players or goals, but a result will then put, it will create differentiation in a, in a league for players. If you wanted to put man of the match in, etc., you can do that, right? If I click save result, Okay, you can then also copy the result. Show you what it looks like in WhatsApp. Just gonna get rid of all of that in there. Okay, it says in here, well, play, well played, winners on the night, the red team. If they're a man of the match or um, new player adds, it adds those in as well. So we could do that. Let's go um, put those in. Let's say we put in a man of the match. So I'll hold it a little bit longer to make it stick. Hold it there, stick. Let's put a new player in there as an example. Save results. So new player bonuses for when um, they bring somebody new along. Okay, so uh, copy the results summary, see what it looks like now. Get rid of that. There you go, you can see it says the man of the match shout which went to and the people listed and the new player bonus to, uh, to Luke like we put in.
Let's see, uh, so that's how that works. Okay. As I say, we're going to make it a little bit easier to do moving of players, etc. Um, okay, good. I think that's the. Uh, oh, actually, no, there's more to show you. Right, okay, so. Back into organizer matches. Let's look at the another future game. Okay, uh, let's look at this one for example. So if you want to change the capacity, you can do that now. Okay, see it says available spaces here. Available spaces. So uh, that number sixteen can be changed. Let's so say you want to make it 15, and make it 15, or back to 16. Okay, so of course we'll help if you need help, but it's there, it was something that was asked for, so we've made that change. Uh, there's some other changes coming, trying to make it easier, again, for the organisers to be able to do this stuff on the phone. Um, so well, I'll send those out when we've got those changes. So as soon as the results get submitted, they now go into the table. So you can share directly from the table as regularly as you want um, your results. So the Dream Team First Eleven has a fixed date. You can change these dates, just click and change. So you can define your own period if you wanted to. Uh, that date of a defined period, probably easier if we put that in for you. So everybody's using the standard uh, just in terms of your location um, all right so if you look for your local leagues we pick a day let's say um, a Monday and we put in little uh, it's gonna put a player so let's put a little stoke let's put a lot there we go so then we've got from that date from the 25th of september to the current date immediately there we've got um we've got a table now we've made it more easy to read on a phone um, so you can kind of scroll across and see the results um, if you wanted to share that table and you can change the number of entries as well depending on how many you want on it um, you can take a snapshot of that with your phone and you can paste that into uh, a WhatsApp group so you can share the progress that's being made. Um, the ones that put the results in will show differently. So this one is going to be based purely on the number of played games. So uh, Marek played 11, Little Stoke on a Monday. Um, if we look at another location that uses and submits results, I just know one that I can use in his example. Let's go solely on a Sunday. Okay, you can see here it's different. We've still got play, but we've also got some of the other stats as well. So one goal scored, man of the match. And the only things that count for points are wins, man of the match. And uh, play games, and if they bring new players, send so the NP as well. All right, and if you wanted to, you can do different sorts on these different things as well to share different pieces. Again, use your phone, do a snapshot of your phone screen, and you can share it to other with other people. Just helps with player retention. So start of the season, you get a lot of people coming, open to be progressive, and then towards the end, if people are near the top, they keep coming. So adds a few more players in. Um, every week and also it's just good just to recognize and now we are able to do that without you doing anything the number of games that these guys are playing and contributing to keeping people playing okay